Hi everybody, Dr. Baumholtz, Baumholtz Plastic Surgery. Um, do you know what a real plastic surgeon looks like? Um, to me it looks like someone that went to medical school and then did either a combined, which is three years of general surgery and three years of plastic surgery program, or a traditional program like I did, which was uh, five years of general surgery. I stuck in a year of hand and microsurgery and then three more years of plastic and reconstructive surgery. I then went through an almost two-year um, boarding process, certification and boarding process, which culminated in me being board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Why am I telling you this story? Well, I happened to be on my Instagram feed this morning, and I came across a surgeon that was giving away a surgery to his cell phone number neighbor. So apparently if you were within one uh, digit of his cell number and you texted him, uh, this doctor gave away uh, free surgery. That's an automatic red flag that that person is not uh, a member of the American Society of Plastic Surgery or ASAPS uh, or board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery um, who doesn't really take kindly to the notion of giving away free surgery. Amazingly, this doctor had over 80,000 followers and the reviews were glowing despite the fact that a simple Google search turned up an untoward number of deaths uh, by the same physician. Uh, physician is not here in San Antonio. I'm not maligning anyone in the community. I'm not really maligning this one. This is all available on Google. Why am I telling you this story? Well, I really need to emphasize the importance of board certification, appropriate board certification. So to be a board certified cosmetic surgeon, in my uh, opinion, is not, is, not, is not the same thing as being a plastic surgeon. There's one way to be a plastic surgeon. You do the training, you take the exams, you become board certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. And you know, sometimes the reviews that we get, um, I don't know how to say this other than, you know, the bottom line is you want them to be as, as representative of the real world and your practice as, as they can be. Um, if you've uh, been in practice for a little while and you only have five-star reviews, not a single negative word out there, um, be skeptical. Yeah.